you know, not knowing what he would say, I went into my husband and I said, you know, I, I never do that with, you know, I do when I do eye look sometimes, but not when I do my foundation. And I asked him, like, what do you think of this found new foundation I'm wearing? And he looked at me, he's like, wow, that's really pretty. It's like, it looks natural. It looks like your skin, but I know you say you got something on, but it just looks like your skin. It's really pretty. And I'm like, well, if I were to ask you, which side looks better, this side here or this side here, or does it all look the same? Instantaneously, he said, this side. Instantaneously, no joke. And I said, well, good, because this side's $236 and this side's $118. He's like, doesn't look that good. <laughs> like, oh yeah. But if it was something for your your sports car, it'd be every penny in the bank it looked good for. <laughs> Welcome back to our channel. Now we're moving into the by Terry here. I'm sure this is what everyone really wants to see. And we're going to start with the primer. You get, like I said, one fluid ounce. Both these products are $118, so they are very expensive, but this is a luxury brand. So there's the bottle, and it is, it is a bottle. And boy, is she heavy and pretty and just nice. Okay, let's get English here. It says, now again, this is the primer. This trail trailblazing anti-wrinkle primer harnesses exclusive Densilis technology. You know, I wanna, I'm gonna do some research on this Densilis technology because it's trademarked, so clearly it's something that just by Terry is doing. And I have no clue what that is to be able to answer you guys, and that bothers me. So I wanna do some research on that. Okay, uh, and then the exclusive Densilis technology to deliver the powerful age repair and firming benefits of a serum with the unifying actions of a colorless corrector. Mimetic factor, that's the other thing. What's mimetic factor? I want to look that up. Works to ramp up collagen and fibroblast turnover. I know what fibroblast is. Uh, to fill in wrinkles and strengthen the skin's density. FTC, flawless time control, soft focus complex, provides sheer light reflecting coverage to visibly correct even the deep wrinkles, even the deep wrinkles. Smooth the skin's microsurface and reduce imperfections, guaranteeing results even on age damaged skin. And it says the instructions use daily as a standalone rejuvenating skin care or apply under terribly denseless foundation for a more potent, long-lasting wear. And this, they, they claim on here that this was clinically tested on 60 women aged 44 to 60 years old over a 42-day period. And that is my age group as I am 49. Okay, uh, is it turned? Is it? No, that doesn't look right. How's it? Oh, wow, that was on there. Holy cow. <laughs> Whoops! Okay, so let's see what she does. Very, very light fragrance. It smells like skincare. Nothing offensive. So let's. And you know, I'm wondering, I think what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to just put it on this side of my face again, just like the, the Becca, because, oh, now I can smell the fragrance. Now the fragrance is coming out. It's light. I mean, it's pleasing. It's not anything offensive. It's got an, a fragrance to it, though. It must be a different kind of rose I don't recognize, because usually by Terry does everything rose around roses. And I don't recognize, oh, it could be an English rose. I don't know. So what I'm going to do is I'm just the same side of my face that I did the, um, the Becca under eye on is the side I'm going to use the primer on. The other side, we're just going to leave plain with nothing and see if any of these products make a difference. How about that? I will tell you this. This feels incredibly hydrating. Holy mother of God. I mean, this literally, you guys, this feels 
This feels like hydration amped up a thousand times. Oh yeah. This feels like a very, very powerful, I'm just gonna put a tiny bit more on right here to see if it has any effect on my pores. This feels like a very, very powerful um, um, moisturizer. It really, really is just wow. I mean, I can feel the difference in my skin, you guys. I don't know if you can see it, but I can feel it. Holy cow. Put a little more here. I want to see if it does make it any difference in my wrinkles like it claims it does. So we'll go right down the middle here. I have half my forehead with this on it and half without. And we'll see if we can see a difference in the wrinklage. And same here, really rub it in. Wow. I like the feel of this, you guys, I really do. It has a little tack to it, but it's nothing. I don't like primers that are like sticky. You know, I'm not looking for something that, I, I just, I don't like that. What I'm looking for in a primer is maybe not the same as somebody who's younger. You know, like you watch Nikki tutorials and she loves a primer that really has some stick and grip to it so it's going to grab onto that foundation and make it last longer. That's not the kind of thing I'm looking for in a primer. I'm looking for something in a primer that's going to have smoothing effect, uh, that's going to have... I want more the effect of the skin as compared to the longevity of the foundation, if that makes sense. I want something that is actually visibly going to affect my skin the way my skin looks, the way the foundation looks when it lies upon my skin, as opposed to something that's just going to make the foundation last longer. That's basically the difference. But that's the difference between being young and being older. You know, I mean, when you get older, you have things you have to deal with that you don't have to deal with when you're younger. I can tell you one thing, my skin on this side looks incredibly smoother already. I don't know if you guys can see this. Now remember, this is what I would consider my rough side of texture of my skin. It's where I have a lot of um, scars from chicken pox and such like that. If you guys look at my um, Wet n Wild foundation video, you'll see me talk about that. So I wanted to apply these products to the side that has a little bit more challenge than the other. And already, I can see the skin on this side looks way wow um <laughs> i really wasn't expecting this god's honest truth when i look at my skin on this side the best thing i can say is that it it almost looks the color even looks different on my skin on this side if you i don't know if you guys can see this or not it's going to come across camera i'll try and zoom in so you see it but the skin on this side looks plumper it looks healthier the imperfections and different tonal variations of my skin are not as pronounced as they are over here. My wrinkles look le like on this side, this wrinkle to me looks a lot more, a lot less pronounced than it. This looks deeper. This furrow here looks deeper. On my forehead, the wrinkles are worse on this side, a lot. The ones that are up here, except for I have two that are right here from doing that all the time. Uh, but it looks nice. I mean, we'll see when I get the foundation on what kind of a difference it makes. But where I'm really seeing it right now is just the overall. Wow. Right here on this section is where I'm really seeing it, especially right in here. It, it just looks, my skin looks plumper. It looks healthier. It looks very, very nourished is what it looks. So... Hmm. Wow. Okay, let's move on to the foundation now and see where we really go with this. How about that? That's why I wanted to get the primer that went with them. I wanted to see the two working together and independent from one another to see if the primer makes a difference or if it's just the foundation or if neither of them do. Okay, so here we have the same glass bottle and this is the Terribly Denseless Foundation and I got this, this is the Anti-Wrinkle Serum Foundation is what they call this, and I got this in the color One Fresh Fair, 
which is the color I should have purchased my, uh, what do you call it, my concealer in, but I didn't. Okay, so, and I still haven't purchased that. I forgot, God's honest truth, I thought I bought one in this because I purchased the wrong color last time. By mistake, I bought two vanilla beige, and I should have bought one fresh fair, and I thought I bought that in this order, but apparently not. Okay, this says, this foundation serum enriched with skincare benefits with wrinkle control and firming properties. Blends in like a second skin. Wrinkles, however deep or just appearing, are targeted so that even the most lined skins are exceptionally smooth. Even the most lined skins are exceptionally smooth. That's a big claim. It's exclusive denseless technology combined with the Mimetic factor, a patented plant active ingredient. Hmm. Stimulates fibroblast and collagen synthesis by mimetism, acting at the heart of cellular mechanisms, imparting an immediate and long-lasting rejuvenating effect. The complexion is luminous, wrapped in an optimal and ultra-natural biomimetic coverage. The contours are reshaped and appear lifted. Wrinkles look perfectly smoothed. Perfectly smoothed. The skin's texture is refined and firmer with a newfound radiance and pleasantly younger looking. Okay, well, that's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of claims. This is a water-based foundation. It does have dimethicone in it. it. does have silicon in it. it. does have alcohol in it. But it does not have the, what I would consider the damaging alcohol, which is denatured alcohol. So we're good there. So again, we have the primer I just applied and the foundation. So let's give this a try, shall we? Hmm. Has kind of the same or similar light fragrance that the primer did. Okay, so let's just try over here first. How about that? Let's see how much coverage it has and how far it goes. And I am going to, again, use my Morphe E6 because I really like this. And let's see how it works with this foundation. It just kind of seems like it just went right into my skin. Okay, so there's half my face done. I remember the side that I just did the foundation on is also the side that has the primer and that has the under Becca. Okay, so let's, I wonder if I should try, you know, I think I'm gonna go ahead and try like always, this side with a beauty blender. And of course, remember, this side has nothing on it except for my skincare prep, that is. You know, it has no primer. Had, I don't have the under eye, Becca under eye stuff on here, just my moisturizer and the foundation. Okay, so let's take a look here. Let's give you a look now with both sides. And remember, 
This side over here has the primer and the Becca under eye. This side is just moisturizer. Now when I'm looking at, I'm telling you the difference I see in the mirror is significant because what I'm seeing is this side over here, this side my skin looks a lot plumper, it looks, um, it looks smoother, it looks plumper, the wrinkles are not as visible, whether it be this one here in my mouth, the ones down here at the corner of my mouth or on my forehead, and then I look at the side that has no primer on it at all, and the wrinkle, this wrinkle here looks, this side of my face feels, looks like it's sagging to me compared to this one. Do you guys see that? Or am I just losing my marbles? Literally, this side of my face looks like I've had a mini little facelift, and this side looks like it's sagging, where the wrinkles are more prominent and just kind of hanging there. I can see the wrinkles more so on my forehead, but where I really see it is right here. I'm not seeing... Over here, I'm seeing almost a lift in my skin, and I'm not seeing that here. Do you guys see that? Overall, the foundation is really pretty. Um, let me try going over just this side here real quick with the brush. I do think, again, I like it with the brush better. I'm really <laughs> surprising myself because... The Beauty Blender used to be my end-all, go-all for everything, but since I found this brush, I'm just really changing my tune on things. Because this brush just blends product into the skin beautifully. It really does. Yeah, I'm seeing a big difference. Now, what I want to try and do, just for the heck of it, I'm going to try and build up, like usual, right here where I really see my discoloration coming through, which is right on my cheekbones. And let's see if this builds. Well, I'll tell you, um, I, I really, you guys, I was not expecting you know, I ordered this just just to try it for the hell of it. Because like I've said in many videos before, I have yet to find a primer that I look at my skin and really see a difference. And I'm not talking about a pore filler, I'm talking about a primer. There's a big difference. Like my Tarte Clean Slate that I use to fill my pores, that I don't consider that a primer. I can, there's two different products and I think people confuse them a lot. There's primers and there's pore fillers. This is a primer. I ordered this just to try it and see if there was, you know, I, I was not expecting to see a difference, but I'm telling you, I really do, you guys. I really do. Okay, what I'm going to do real quick is get my concealer on and powder under my eyes and get everything ready for the next step of makeup, and I'll be right back.
whole base done and I'm ready to move along to the next video where we will try out some new face products and some new eye products and then I will come back afterwards when my makeup's all done and we'll do another check-in and then I'll do my last check-in at the end of the day to see how this is performing but I'll tell you one thing you guys I, I really hope you can see this because this side of my face to me when I look in the mirror this side of my face looks like five to ten years younger than this side does it looks like it's lifted it looks like the skin is plumped and healthy uh, I'm just I'm I mean even my cheeks here look at my cheeks the difference in how round they look compared to this one that just looks flat and look at the wrinkle on this side here compared to this one God, I hope you guys can see it because this is this is pretty significant and I use the same foundation on both sides of my face it looks like a, a really nice foundation uh, I don't have any complaints about it it's soaked right into my skin you know if you're looking for a foundation my biggest problem I have with foundations on mature skin is they have a tendency to sit on top of the skin and when you've got thick products sitting on top of wrinkles and imperfection everything it just brings everything out it does not look good in my opinion this foundation you guys saw when I apply it it literally went right into my skin I mean it there's no sitting on top of my skin I literally don't feel like I have anything on I'm telling you guys it's so hard to say this because I know these are expensive products and you know when it comes to something that I mean you figure you buy the primer and the foundation together you're looking at two hundred and thirty six dollars so I don't say this lightly okay I, I want you to know that it's not a situation where I'm just like oh I can buy them so you know who cares <laughs> no not at all as a matter of fact if anything when it comes to foundation skin care what have you that is on the pricier side that's on the luxury side I hold it to an even higher standard than what I would a drugstore product or a high-end product look at it yourself I mean that's the thing too you guys can see my skin you've seen my other foundation over 40s prior to this and if you hadn't if you haven't check them out I have a whole playlist of them look at that the combination of the foundation and primer on this side is simply beautiful. There's just no way around it. Now we'll have to see if it holds up. That's going to be the key. How products go on top of it and how long it lasts. You know, I don't even want to look at this side because while this side is pretty, I mean, don't get me wrong, the foundation is beautiful. I mean, you can see there, even without the primer, without anything, the foundation is beautiful. It absorbs into the skin binds with the skin it definitely has a blurring effect like I said the only thing I can tell you is look at my other foundation over 40 videos and look at my forehead right here you can still very significantly see my wrinkles they're very diminished even on the side without the primer but what's interesting to me is I'm looking at a couple different things here for one if you look at my under eye bags this one is higher than this one there's no question do you see that? Even just where my fingernails are? This one is lower than this one. Is it because of this Becca under eye? I don't know, but I'll tell you one thing. The only thing different I did, other than the primer, which didn't go under my eyes, was this. So that's kind of impressive right there. I'm going to test it more. I'm not going to just say, yeah, it works. No, I'm going to test it more and I will let you guys know as I continue to test products I'll either do a follow-up or use them in another video which is more than likely what I'll do with this one or I'll put it down in the description box as I continue. But I usually just add them in another video because you know what? In my experience people don't go back and read the description boxes six months later to see if you've got a follow-up on stuff. So, uh, you know, whatever. Anyways. So I see that difference right off the bat when I look in the mirror. Now, after I put the primer on this side of my face, within minutes, literally, almost instantaneously, by the time I was done rubbing it in, the skin looked plumper. It, it almost had a glow to it that the side over here didn't have. It looked healthier. After it's setting and then prior to adding my foundation, it was 
incredibly obvious the difference between the prime side and the non-prime side. And now that I have my foundation on, what I want you to look at is this area of my cheek here and the plump, the difference in the, you know, it's plump over here and looks plump and healthy compared to here where it looks a little more sallow and wrinkled. Just gotta get my face even. First impression is on these two. First impression right off the bat, I am really, really impressed. And I was not prepared for that. I really wasn't. Has it taken away the appearance of my wrinkles? Without a doubt, it has. Has it made the skin look more plump and moist and refreshed? Without a doubt. I mean, there's no question. There's no question. Even the way that I put the, when I put the powder over here even, it looks different than it does over here. I, I just, so let's see how this wears and really give it a test. I'm gonna leave this on all day. I will come back with a check-in with you guys after I have all my makeup done, and then we'll come back at the very end of the day for a final checkup, and I will give you my first impressions of the By Terry Terribly Denseless Primer and Foundation. Let's see if they're worth 118 or 236. Until then, love you, bye. You know, when your own husband can instantaneously look at you and see a difference, that says more to me even than what I'm looking at in the mirror. I mean, there was no question when he looked at me and he said it looked beautiful, I 100% believed what he was saying. And when I asked him which side looks better, if either one, he instantaneously said this side. And that is exactly what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a much, much smooth, my skin just looks smoother, it looks plumper, but it's more than that. I'm gonna see if I can show you this. Okay, right here, I want you to look at this area, right here on like the top of my cheekbone. And I want you to see that there's like some discoloration a little bit there and it's not real smooth in this area here, okay? Now I want you to look at the same area here. You don't see any of that. You're seeing a completely smooth, plump skin. There's no discoloration there. <laughs> you guys, I just... You know, you see these things when you visit websites and stuff and you see these astronomically, I mean, there's there's higher price than this. Like, I want to try the, oh, I just dug into my face with it. I want to try the uh, La Mer's one. I want to try the other Sicily Paris. I want to try their foundations and primers as well. And they're far more than, they're double what by Terry's is. I think the uh, the Sicily Paris and the La Mer are close to 170 to 200 just for the foundation. But my point is, is that, you know, you see these high ticket items, these luxury items, and you think, you know, are you really getting something better? Is there work that's genuinely gone into finding products that really apply the skin? Because I know, as well as anybody, what I'm paying for here, in this case, when I look at this, I know that I'm paying for when any luxury product, you're paying for luxury packaging, you're paying for the name, and you're paying also in part for the research because research is very expensive. You're paying for research and you're paying for ingredients. But there are some luxury foundations I've tried where it is very evident to me that money has not gone into research and money has not gone into quality high high ticket ingredients. But you know what? When I put this on instantaneously, I could see a difference. I've never been more shocked in my life. And you know, guys, that's honest to God true because I know there are going to be women out there who are going to look at how this performs on my skin and they're going to hear what I have to say about it and they're going to want to go get it. I know that. I do the same thing. <laughs> You know, when I watch somebody's reviews that I trust. 
and I hope that you try have learned to trust me or will learn to trust me and my opinions that I'm not just gonna say something's good just because or because it's expensive or whatever and like I said earlier if anything when it comes to luxury products I hold them at a higher standard of care but if you can't look at my skin and see <laughs> Honest to God, if you can't look at this and see what I'm seeing, it is now 6.13 p.m. So I walked away at noon. So I've had this on for six and a half hours. Well, six and a quarter hours. When I look at the two sides, you know, if I just tried this foundation just by itself, which is what I was going to do originally, but for some reason, I really just, when I was putting together my last beauty shower, I was like, I really want to try the primer with this and see if I can find a primer that really truly makes a difference. Honest to God though, had I just tried the foundation and not tried the primer, I'd still be impressed right now because I have no creasing, no foundation breaking up, even on my chinny chin chin, which is my worst place ever. I have no wrinkles creasing across my forehead like I usually do by now. I have no break in the foundation here, even in the deepest part of my smile like I usually do. This is incredible performance on a found for a foundation for me, plain and simple. But then add the primer into it. And I've just taken a foundation that has performed beautifully and has worn beautifully. And I've taken about 10, 15 years off my skin on top of it. Now, I don't know if you guys are seeing it, but that's what I see when I look in the mirror and I'm my own worst critic. Well, let me tell you. I will check back in with you guys at the end of the evening. I'll probably by then have ripped my lashes off and my eye makeup will look like garbage, but <laughs> you get the point. We wanna see how this hair holds up. Uh, let's just say this, I'm jealous of Terry because she gets to wear this every day. My pumps are gonna run out pretty soon because I'm gonna be wearing it all the time. Now, as for the little Becca anti-fatigue under eye primer, you know, again, I don't know if you guys can see it, but this eye is still more elevated than the other one. I'm gonna have to look back through my old videos and see if my right eye is more elevated, the, the bag here, the hollow, if it's more elevated than my left eye or not because uh, I can't tell you if that is or not, uh, but I can tell you that even in addition to this eye looking more elevated, it looks smoother and flatter than this one does where I did not put that primer. Um, if you're looking for a gentle lip scrub that's not going to tear your freaking lips apart, but it's gonna give you just enough scrub with a mixture of botanical oils that are beautiful You've got to try this. You really do. And trust me, the rose in your mouth is not going to make you go, Ugh. I mean, it actually tastes pretty good. This, the feeling on my lips, I mean, I don't know if you guys can see my lips right now, but you know, I did this one first and then I put on, used the stylo of the Balm de Rose. So I had both of those products on my lips the entire time I was doing my eyes and such. And I don't know if you can see but to me, my lips look fuller and plumper than they did before. And the reason is simple is because they're far more moisturized than they were before. So, and I don't have lipstick bleeding, even though I've got NARS uh, Velvet Lip Glide on, which is very viscous. So I'm, I'm pretty impressed always around with what I've tried today. So I will be back with a last check-in and that's about it. I hope you guys are liking this so far, but I promise you, I, I really hope when I look at this video back in editing, I hope I see in that what I see in the mirror because it's incredible. I feel like a new woman. I really do, you guys. And I'm looking in the mirror. I feel like I went out and had, I literally feel like I went out and had like a chemical peel on my face and this is, you know, three weeks post recovery. That, that's what I feel like when I look at this. Wow. Anyways, until my last chicken, I love you guys and I'll see you then.
Okay, we are back for our final check-in. I left my phone out in the other room, but it's 8.30 when I came in to look, so sorry about that. So it's been a total of 8.30 from noon, eight and a half hours. God, I'm tired, sorry. And FYI, since my NARS Velvet Lip Light I had on before wore off, I just put on this uh, Jouer. This is the Lip Topper Sweetheart, the one that I just got. I really think it's pretty. Love the smell of them, but I'll tell you that much. Okay, so as for the foundation, how it's held up, it, I, you know, honest to God, you guys, I don't have a bad thing to say about this foundation. I just don't. I feel like I've hit pay dirt twice in a row. I hit it with a really inexpensive foundation and now I'm hitting it with one that's not inexpensive. But, uh, you know, the wrinkles on my forehead are a little bit more pronounced now than they were uh, at our last check-in. These wrinkles that I cannot figure out where the hell they've come from are a little more pronounced as is this wrinkle here has separated a little bit whereas it hadn't before but what's interesting is when i look on this side here it has the primer i don't see any of that occurring of what's happening here i even see the wrinkles on this side of my forehead as having held up better and being less noticeable than they are over here but where i really see it is right here i don't know if you guys can see that line right there where the foundation is separated a little bit from where the line is, you don't see that over here, where the, on the primer side. And I also don't see these line wrinkle effing things coming off the side of my mouth here. That that drives me, that ages me so much. That and my, the damn under eye hollows. If I could get these things fixed, I'd feel like a million bucks. But I have to say the foundation is beautiful on its own. If, you know, just as an example, <clears throat> if you're only in a position where to get one or the other and you want to get the foundation, the foundation truly is beautiful. But this primer, the primer has to have something to do with it. And the reason why is because I have the foundation all over my face, but I only have the primer on this side. And this is the side that just so happens to look way better you know you guys tell me what do you think that's the primer side no primer and even if you look at I, I can see in the viewfinder even when I smile how plump the skin looks here compared to over here. And of course, as we age, that's part of what we lose is that collagen and the fatty, you know, the fat under, the fat layer under our skin starts to break down. That's why you end up with these hollows under your eyes here is because the fatty layer that was there breaks down and disappears. And it's done it with altracity. It just said, F you, I'm out of here. <laughs> It ain't gonna make any difference how much weight I gain. I can end up being 500 pounds and those suckers are still gonna be hollow. Speaking of hollow, <laughs> I didn't do that on purpose. I will have a video coming up. You guys have asked me, several of you have asked for my opinion on Tati's uh, Halo Beauty line and her supplements. I have a video that will be coming up on that. I am just finishing putting together the information because I've done, you know, I've done due diligence. I'm not just going to jump out there and go, aha, yes, aha, no, uh, you know, I've done due diligence. And the other thing is too, is that I have a history, a very, very long history with working with supplements, working with enzymes, working with these natural plant-based products the long history with it. So I just wanted to let you know, I heard your request out there and I am working on that. First off, I'll tell you this right now. I'm going to be providing you guys a video of what you asked for, which is the information and what I think of the ingredients that are in it, whether they're safe, 
uh, whether or not they're effective, whether or not there's been any studies done on them. You know, that that's the angle I'll be coming from in dealing with this video. You know, even if I disagree with something that, you know, Toddy's done or doing or what have you regarding this, my goal is not to slam anyone. I mean, period, end of story. Because what she's doing, regardless of whether or not you agree with it, regardless of whether or not you like it, or you like the outcome she's engineered with it, the fact is, is that she's putting her money where her mouth is. And, uh, you know, I say at the end of every video, you want something, you set a goal, you go after it. It's just that simple, make it happen. And she's made it happen. So you have to give her credit for that. So um, anyways, other than that, that's it for now, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I, I gotta tell you, I have to give both of these a recommendation. I just do because while the Wet n Wild I thought looked beautiful on my skin, I thought it looked beautiful on my skin. That's the difference. I thought it looked beautiful on my skin. Whereas this, I think this looks beautiful on and in my skin. Does that make sense? I feel like this has actually made a difference. The minute I put that primer on, the minute I put that primer on the side of my face, within minutes after application, I started seeing my skin plump out. I started seeing it smooth. I started seeing the texture just wafe away on here. I started seeing the the pigmentation even of my skin, probably because it's having a plumping effect and maybe getting more blood supply or activating blood supply. I don't know the mechanisms of it. All I know is that what happened when I applied that primer has held still. You know, that's one of the things <clears throat> I really wanted to see is, was this effect gonna go away? Was it just basically what I like to call a placebo effect? Meaning you put something on, it has an immediate effect, and then over time it just goes kind of like, uh, you know, and it's gone. No, no, not at all. You can see here, I mean, eight, what, eight and a half hours later, and look, and I keep going to this side because this is the side that has the primer on, it, but even this side that just has the foundation still looks nice, but I can't get over what this looks like. So are these ones I'm gonna use again? Ab Absolutely. You bet your bottom dollar I will use this. Uh, <clears throat> let's put it this way. I cannot wait to use this again where I can put the primer. I'm not testing something so I can put the primer all over my entire face. What I see, I see Two-Face when I look in the mirror right now. That's what I see because literally right down the middle of my face on this side I see sagging, I see wrinkles, I see a little separation and I see more wrinkles coming up here, but again, it still looks beautiful. On this side though, I see plump, I see lifted, I see smooth. I, I, wow, that's all I can say is wow. And you know what, when I walk into my husband and he can see the difference, that tells you something. So uh, again, I will put links to these down below. I did purchase mine as you saw from Beautylish. Uh, I do know I have purchased by Terry through uh, Nordstrom's as well. So uh, if you're concerned about, you know, if you wanna try this, but you're concerned obviously about the price point and whether it's gonna work on you, I can tell you this with all confidence that if you order from Nordstrom's, I know for without a doubt, their return policy is unequivocally there. Shrimps really has a very, very liberal return policy. Now, when it comes to Beautylish, um, again, Beautylish, you can return it without a problem if you don't like it, but I do know that they're a little bit more restrictive than Nordstrom's is on their return policy. But the other thing, too, that's a difference between, say, ordering this at Beautylish versus Nordstrom's is Beautylish, you can make three equal payments. So like for instance, if you wanted to get the primer, and no, I'm not selling it. No, I don't sell anything on my channel. I just demonstrate. But I'm just telling you from a consumer standpoint, if you wanted to get both of these, 
you know, the, what is it, $236, you can divide that into three equal payments, which certainly makes it a lot more affordable. You know, they divide them equally into three payments. You make your first payment, it's to you in a couple days, you try it, like it, or don't like it. If you don't like it, you've got it returned by the time the second payment's coming out. So, you know, anyways, uh, but that's about it on that one. I am thoroughly excited. I uh, forgot about the glasses, I always forget. I see a little tiny bit of an area here on both sides, more so on the side that's not primed than the primer side, I would say, of where my glass pads have removed a little bit, but it's not, it's not very noticeable. But I'll tell you one thing, you guys, I, I really truly do. If I was going to an event or I was going to, um, you know, one of my author conventions or something like that, I'm going to be packing these. And I'm going to be wearing that because when I see the way this looks in person, I don't know the way it looks on film yet because I haven't had a chance to see it, but the way it looks in person, stunning. Absolutely beautiful. So, uh, bye Terry. You guys have my, you've always had my vote when it comes to the Balm de Rose uh, lip products. But now when it comes to the foundation and primer, I'm on board. Honey, whoo, whoo, you got me. That's it for now, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this review. And remember, the next one, we've got Tom Ford, the Traceless Perfecting Foundation coming up. And of course, now we have the new Jouer Essential Foundation that'll be coming up too, uh, since I just got that. So I love you guys. I hope wherever you're at in the world, you're doing well. And if you're having struggles, you're beating the bitches back and persevering. Don't for a minute think that you are alone. We all have struggles. It doesn't matter how old we are, what color our skin is, what color our hair is, what color our eyes are, our financial status, what kind of car we have, what kind of house we have. It doesn't matter. We all have struggles. It's how you handle them that shows the metal of the person you are. And just remember you guys, if you have a dream, set your goals to what you need to do to achieve that dream and you stock that dream like your sexiest boyfriend in the world or girlfriend and you just keep going until you get it. Don't let people get in your way. Don't let people knock you down. Don't let people tell you no, you can't, you shouldn't. It's not worth it. You'll never happen. I'll never do it because you know what? Those are the people that are going to be sitting there going, damn, I wish I did that while you're reaching your dreams. So, you know what? You can be somebody who sits back and whines about the world and all the unfairness, how you don't have this and you don't have that, or you know what? You can knock your ass off the pity potty. You can go out there and put that wonderful brain that you have to work and put that hardworking spirit to work. And if you expend even a quarter of the amount of time that you spend bitching about how everyone else is doing awesome, and you put that into you going towards awesome, you'd be amazed at what can happen. Until next time, I love you guys. See you soon. Remember, love and respect. Bye.